Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my Minecraft server. I've uh, got the mob drop going on here. Last episode, we finished up the sorting system and got that in order. All I need to do now is fill it up with certain items. Some items have already started uh, finding their way in there, you know, uh, end up with a couple stacks of arrows or something, I st or bones, arrows and miscellaneous. In fact, I think I have some, so I should be able to just toss these arrows right in there, boom, boom, and they should auto-filter right into there, and they are. So as soon as that one gets up to 41, it'll start firing off, and there it goes. Now it's kind of cycling, pulse, pulse, pulse. Here's that side pulse I was talking about. See how this one doesn't come far enough over? So the reason, before I mentioned that it was uh, 18, you can do it one square back, You'd only need 18 items in the hopper dispenser, but I need 41 because I've got a two squares back. And the next integral would be too high to actually fill in that slot, so it won't go any further back than this. But there was the possibility on a one back, a one far, whatever, one wide you want to call it, dispenser, or I'm sorry, sorter, that uh, it might overflow. It might reach to the 41 point while items are still sorting out of it. So that's how it would flow over into the other system. But anyways, now I've got all of them in there, and you can see they're popping right in there. And I have some bones, too, so let me go ahead and stick some bones in there, I think. Can I reach this? Yep, I sure can. Bones up. Okay, so, and you know what? While I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and put this up. That should find its way there also. Okay, so what have we got today? Uh, we did the sorting system, we did the drop chute, and we did the main platform. And I also put up the hopper timer, so the hopper timer's there. What I want to do today is actually make the, the chute that goes out that... Uh, the drainage, the primary drain. So there's going to be one going off this way, and one going off that way, and one going off that way. But down the center, they're going to flow into the center, and that's going to be the main collection channel. So that's what I'm going to build today. And I think I've got enough stuff to do that. Let me go ahead, run on up there, and we'll get started on that. Okay, so it's going to be the drop chute. I'll probably put a couple things in there for maintenance and maybe I'll try to get the entire first floor of the mob spawning area done. Now I have to use full slab sizes here otherwise hmm, otherwise hmm. sorry I'm thinking about where I'm gonna put this let's put this uh, that's gonna have to be filled up eventually but for now it won't so let's just do this okay um, I'm going to make this go all the way out, and then we're going to do the two sides. I don't even remember what I was saying, so let me just go ahead and... I think I actually want to have this start... Yeah, I'm going to leave that off for now. Because what this is going to start doing is start being... staircasing up. And I'm going to staircase it up on both sides. Maybe one more layer. I don't know. Okay, hold on. So that's the top there. Okay, so this has to be the section that comes out here. Okay, so there and there. And this guy. And let me see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So to this point. Okay, no problem. We'll just run it real fast. Right. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and one more because I only want it to float from this point to the end of the lip. Okay. Boom. Okay. And two, four, six. Eight. So now this layer has to go up one from here, but we're going to maintain the consistency, and we're going to put this here. No, oh, I can't do that because, no wait, this outer wall will be different. So the outer wall will look different than the interior, but that'll still be, let me see here. Yeah, that's going to work, I think. I think that's going to work. Or maybe I don't even do this tube in that fashion. 
<laughs> so this is kind of confusing. All right, let me just go ahead and do it. And then on the outsides, these guys need to actually flow into it. So that's going to be there. And then this is going to be here. So inside the channel, it's going to look weird, but down below, it'll still have that look. All right, is that what I want to do? No, I don't think so. I think I want this channel to be all one color. And I think that color is going to be wood. So let me go ahead and get rid of all these stone bits, and we'll just come back and make the central channel all wood. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this uh, main platform all wood. This chunk right there can probably be changed. Yeah, and I'm going to change that one just to kind of give it some consistency at this point. Oh, did it fall all the way down? It did. That's okay. It'll sort. Okay, so that's going to be there. Nobody will be able to see that. This will be the interior. So the side walls are still going to be checker patterned, but the actual wood beam section in the center is not. Okay. Now, this one needs to be seven long. That one was eight. This one needs to be seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then it needs to go up from there. Let me go get on that real fast. Boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one goes up. And then this last one needs to go seven as well. Okay, so off we go here. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So those are those bits. Let me get the side walls going. And in order to do the side walls, there's something else I need to do. Let me make sure I've got this right now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how far it'll run to the edge, no further. One. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that needs to be an actual, these three are going to be something special, and so is this one, this one, and this one. But underneath here, these guys can – how am I going to do this after this? Okay. All right. Be right back. I need to grab something that's downstairs in the bottom chest. Be right back. Okay, gang, we're back. I've got the things that I wanted to get. And now I can get rid of these guys. Boom, boom, boom. And put these down. That's right. I got some dispensers. Okay, so this will be for my maintenance later on. And... This will be for my maintenance later on. You'll see in a moment. And over here, up you go. Here we go. Yeah, this is going to be just fine. Okay. So. I got to run these walls beside this guy. These guys are going to not be my stairs anymore. I got to do something else about that. Also, when coming up this ladder, this bit right here looks out of place from way down low. So we're just going to go ahead and make that that. All right, so we'll just kind of have it maybe run a stripe right down the middle. Maybe. Let me see how that looks instead. Just go with the stripe look down here. That might work. Okay. So let's get this going now. 
We've got this straight line. It looks pretty good. We're going to keep it like that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I will kind of alternate it. I'll figure something out. I gotta keep at this though. Okay, so I've got enough stuff done here now so I could make a preliminary run and see if it's gonna flow correctly. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stripe in the middle. I might change that. I haven't decided yet. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I need to really finagle around the outside. I might spend a little extra time off camera cleaning stuff up but first let me go ahead and show you what's going to end up happening here let's go ahead and put the water into this spot don't worry about the light that's keep uh, seeping through from the below I will show you in a little bit what's up with that okay seven seven eight all right so it flows right to the edge and then stops right where I need it to excellent uh oh go pick this up again interesting there we go All right, I'm going to light this up for now to hopefully keep any critters from spawning in here while I'm working on it. These are obviously temporary torches. You would think they, that would be obvious, but oh, wow, I ran out. Yes, anyways, you would think that would be obvious, but uh, who knows? They might try to spawn somewhere here. Um, can I get to that? Let's just put one there. And you know what? Hold on. Because <laughs> if they do spawn, I kind of want them to fall in there. So let them fall. Got to be careful. All right, so how's this look down here? Um, this is going to be enclosed. So let me go ahead and start enclosing it. Yeah, it kind of works. Especially if I do this. Yeah. But then the outside is kind of... Okay. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to put ladders here. And there's going to be some sort of redstone that's going to toggle those two streams. So, once I toggle those, then I'll know that... Um, that's the word I'm looking for. That uh, the water's on or off. I'll be able to see it. And the in here is going to be enclosed so that it's dark at all times. All right, so what I'm going to end up doing is making a little hallway, a door that goes in through here. So this is all going to be walls and walls, and this is a door. And then uh, in here, I'll probably put ladders here, 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 all the way up. And I'll probably put a button here that will trigger something out the back. And I'll redstone ladder it up to make those things work. And then off the back of here, I will have a path that leads out to where I will be 32 up and 32 out. So that I'll be far enough away from the spawning area that it'll work. Now let me see here. I am going to take some time to look at this design off camera. And come back. And the next time you see me, I'll have made a decision on how this channel is going to look. And the stop uh, I'm sorry the top of this or the bottom of the receiving well should be done and I should be ready to start building the two sides all right so let me do that I'll be right back all right gang I'm back I've done a couple modifications to the platform the maintenance platform as you can see I've in installed my unlimited water supply this is temporary I'm gonna move it over here I think once I get some things in place uh, I might actually just put it right here and then right here will be my switch You'll see what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, I think there's a couple things I wanted to do. Um, I brought up some stairs. So let me go see if I can... How that's going to look. I finished building this, in case you didn't see. This is my tunnel. The underside still looks wonky. And that's because on the sides, if I'm going with the checkerboard... And then on the other side, it's going to be kind of off-putting. It would look something like this. 
even if I if I were to make this whatever pattern it was going to be it was going to it was going to look weird kind of like this right here and this right here kind of looks a little weird but uh at a glance you don't really see it because it's down by the footing um so let me go ahead and go up in here and once this is all done I'll remove this torch and these two torches and I'll actually turn all of these into half planks so that nothing gets caught up in here all right so let me see if I can get this done right without getting myself killed. Alrighty, so the actual drop chute, that needs to be an actual wall. This one can be, this one needs to be an actual wall. But these two can be stairs. Okay, I'm going to do it from, that needs to be wall. This can be stair. All right, let me see. Shift button down. This is always hazardous. Because of the way stairs work, I could end up falling off. Now, here's where it gets interesting, because I don't know if this will wrap around. Yeah, it will. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so let me do this one. And this one. Wow, if I fell here, that would be bad. This one. There we go. There we go. And that one, right? And then this one has to be an actual wall because this is where the edge of the dropper is going to be. So they'll flow in from here. So this needs to be an actual wall. But the rest of these I will end up making into a little cantilever up to the top. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Do I have any? No, I have chiseled. And that's for something else entirely. All right, over here, off the back of this, oh, is where I'm going to go up and out and up and out and up and out. 32. Am I going to do it? Yeah, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go get some more stone because I'm going to extend it out, out one, right, and then out two, and then out three, and then that from the one out three, I'll do an out four, and then, then I'll start going all the way up because that'll give me some space for the ladder I'm going to do back here. So let me go get those bits and pieces, and then I'll come back and do this.